Kepha Rishon 1 Peter 2 Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speakings, as newborn babes desire the, sin the sincere milk of the word, that ye may grow thereby. If so be ye have tasted that Yahuwah is gracious, to whom coming as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of Yah, and precious, ye also as living stones are built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to Yahuwah by Yahusha HaMashiach. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Sion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he that believes on him shall not be confounded. Unto you therefore which believe he is precious, but unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner, and a stone of stumbling, and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of Yahuwah, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts, which war against the soul, having your conversation honest among the other nations, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they may by your good works, which they shall see, rather, behold, glorify Yah in the day of visitation. Submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for Yahuwah's sake, whether it be to the king, as supreme, or unto governors, as unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers, and for the praise of them that do well. For so is the will of Yahuwah, that with well-doing ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men, as free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as the servants of Yahuwah. Honor all men. Love eth the brotherhood. Fear eth Yahuwah. Honor eth the king. Servants, be subject to your masters with all fear, not only to the good and gentle, but also to the froward. For this is a thankworthy, rather, is thankworthy, if a man for conscience toward Yahuwah endure grief, suffering wrongfully. For what glory is it if, when ye be buffeted for your faults, ye shall take it patiently? But if, when ye do well, and suffer for it, ye take it patiently, this is acceptable with Yah. For even hereunto were ye called, because HaMashiach also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. Who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth. Who, when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judges righteously who his own self bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sins, 
should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. For ye were as sheep going astray, but are now returned unto the shepherd and overseer of your souls.